Coming up, I'll discuss my grey hair, delve into the English language, and talk about chisels. Not necessarily in that order. A recent study has concluded that 90% of woodwork teachers' grey hair is as a result of middle school students using or misusing a chisel. And it's true. Nothing actually frightens me more than handing a student a chisel for the first time. So, here are some basic rules to get you going. First rule, chisel is a two-handed tool, unless one hand is holding a mallet. It's pretty difficult to cut yourself if you've got two hands on the chisel. Initially, there was only a need for one golden rule. Chisel is a two-handed tool. However, teenagers being the experts that they are in circumventing rules meant that there needed to be a second rule come into it. The second rule is, no part of your body should be in front of the cutting edge of a chisel. Hmm, circumvent. That's a pretty big word for a woodwork teacher, don't you think? Now this is one way that I've seen students try and circumvent the two hands on a chisel rule. You don't have to be a genius to figure out that someone's going to slice their finger open pretty soon. Best way of doing that, two hands, nothing behind the edge of the chisel, and wiggling it through like that. And the third and final rule is always protect the edge of the blade when the chisel is not in use. If you've got a tool well, then you might like to put that up against the edge inside the tool well. However, I don't have this here on my bench, so I'm going to put mine up against the bench stop, just like this. 